It's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by now. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Quinton Rapace. Herb Dean, our referee ready. for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, Quinn Rampage Jackson ready to go at the start of this round. The question is his opponent ready for all the power that potentially could be coming his way. More often than not, Rampage Jackson's fights, title fights or otherwise, have been very eventful, and he's expecting a wicked, compelling matchup to play out here tonight. Nice. Lands with the lead right. That's good defense to get that guard up. Oh, beautiful counter. So a nice job landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He is a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Good combination there. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. The 
this is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing, you appreciate the sweet science. His jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in MMA. He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. And it all starts behind that beautiful jab. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh, nice inside kick. Three minutes now, round one. His misses are entertaining. Trying to set up that counterattack. Oh, that's a good strike there by Rampage. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Nice punch to the head. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Jackson's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Just over two minutes to go. Back and forth we go. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Watching the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to... And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to be dealing with everything that he's done right now. He should have got the fight finished on that time. He can't even stand. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those no shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Trying to stay in this fight! 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands. Oh, my goodness! his way back to the stool and he's only got 60 seconds to recover here so we'll see if his corner physically mentally can keep this fighter in the fight all right so let us now check out some of the action in that round dc there was a whole lot of it including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show it was a lot of action it was back and forth action but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode luckily he made it to the end of that round Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously gets behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous fight. They both came with an idea that they were collecting $50,000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain 
that they're both in her seat that chance. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Beautiful strike. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. Oh, yeah. Now he's back up. Oh, huge left. Oh, man. That leg can hurt. Oh, huge right hand. Oh. Oh, man. Swelled area getting worse with every passing strike. We might get a stoppage here soon. Herb Dean steps in. Oh my goodness. How about it? Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 34 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Quinton Rampage Jackson. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He successfully retains the title here tonight and does so by TKO. Nice embrace there with the head coach. This is a celebration that is going to continue all night long tonight. Not only did they defend the belt, but they get the style points they sought 